Hi, I'm Matt Williamson with Yard Barker here to talk about a week two matchup. The Falcons go into Dallas to take on the Cowboys. And I thought before the season that Matt Ryan was kind of a sneaky guy to lead the NFL in passing yards this year. Well, looks like a pretty good prediction. And you know, Todd Gurley only played about half the snaps last week. I think this is going to be a massive pass-centric offense. Uh, Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley should feast once again in Dallas. Uh, the Cowboys' su- uh, secondary is just okay. The Cowboys' pass rush, though, could cause big problems for the immobile Ryan, though. But I do expect Atlanta to get Hayden Hurst much more involved this week in the middle of the field, especially with Leighton Vander Esch being out. So that's something to keep an eye on. On the other side of the ball, the Cowboys' offensive line is kind of a shell of what it once was, and the, the reputation's a lot greater than what's actually going on there, especially at the right tackle position right now, which is a real problem. Still, this is a great and balanced offense, and Dak Prescott should have a lot of success targeting his three stud receivers against the Falcons' corners, which are kind of a problem area still. And there really is no reason to think that Ezekiel Elliott shouldn't have his customary big game. He pretty much does every week. Um, this could be the highest scoring game of the week and a ton of fun to watch. I think expect it to be very back and forth. But more importantly, the team that falls to 0-2 is all of a sudden in a massive hole in the NFC. I like Dallas in this one, like 35-32, something along those lines. Again, really fun game. Thanks so much. I am Matt Williamson with Yardbark.